presence of the Lord. And, and what I'm going to say is on a real deal, and then, uh, as long as we are here from now, we're going to leave some money on Tuesday and we're gonna, so that we can have some food on Sunday. <laughs> hey, I don't care if it's some sausage and eggs and whatever, some hash browns or some macaroni and cheese and some kind of vegetable. And then after worship service, we go every Sunday is a fourth Sunday. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He's out for good and he Amen. We know it's out for good. Yeah, yeah. We can have to give you everything. Everything. Praise the Lord. Amen. For the scripture didn't say it's just, he said, for as often as you do, Amen. you show the Lord. Yeah, we're in the right place. Glory to God. We're in the right place. Let's <laughs> see. God bless you. Amen. Push the door up just a little bit. Amen. Bless you. All right. So we're going to make sure, is that all right? Fine. Hey. Amen. Just yeah, we just went out there. So that's what we're going to keep the kitchen <laughs> now, too. <laughs> Amen. So, and that's what I was saying, church, is that when we do build a building, we want it to be functional so that there can always be food for people who are all hungry. I would love for us to always have a place where people can get clothes, a place where a, a, a person can take a shower. And even a place where if they need to go and have a, I, I, I look at, uh, and uh, my sister Nobuko, I, I might be wrong, but I say this, but there's some places in Japan where people can, all it is is just like a little cubicle where they can go in and sleep. It's a little court, a little sleeping court. You were thinking what I was thinking. Okay, maybe it was in Europe. In China, yeah. it's just a place, a little old place. I'm talking about it's not they have them at the airports. Okay, but people can just go yeah. in and sleep. It's just like a bunk bed, only it's just stacked up. Yes, but it's a look. It, but it offers yeah. some privacy. So Got a little TV. A little TV. Yeah. 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 The church needs something, you know, so that we can. A place for rest. Yeah, a place. <laughs> Yeah. How many people in this country are homeless? A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Well, and it's going to get, and and it's gonna get worse. Come on in. Enter, 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 enter. Amen. Praise the Lord. Me. Me. Sam. I'm not going to say up. Two more money for this say up. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, just come on in. Um, and you all have to leave, right? You all have to leave, but you all, can you stay a while? Okay, good. Vicky, Q. How do you spell Q? K-Y-U. K-Y-U, I was going to say, if it was just Q, typically the end, you know, the, that'd be Q doll, you know. <laughs> so see what you push the door just a little bit. Amen. If you all can, uh, we, can we, we can just get ready to minister the word of the Lord. So if you all bear with us just for a few minutes, because the people around here tell you I'm not long wind. Right. <laughs> all right. Second Peter, First Peter, chapter number four, verses twelve through nineteen. And we want to talk about the right mindset concerning suffering. <clears throat> the right mindset concerning suffering. Right? The Apostle Peter says here to the assembly, he said, and, and to the general body of the church, he said, Beloved, think it not strange, or don't think it strange, concerning the fiery trial which is to try you. It is something about the human psyche that when trouble comes, we oftentimes begin to get introverted and think 
what did I do to bring about this upon me? You know, there is a, we, 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 we oftentimes get to the place where, come on in everybody. Well, that's where you were, I don't know where you said you'd be at, at the lake. No, 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 you're right, you're right. Okay. It is good, it is good. Yeah. I'm okay, I'll just jump back there. Okay. He said, don't think it's strange concerning the fiery trials, which is the fiery trial, which is to try you. Know. Typically, uh, in the human psyche, when trouble come our way, most of the time, it is because of something that we brought upon ourselves. If you get a ticket, it's not because the police is out there just trying to make some extra money. It's because you were actually going 61 in a 35 mile zone. Yeah. The radar is not telling a lie. All right? This past week, we had, here in the Puget Sound, five people who were killed by the police. It is not because the police are out here just trigger happy. Let me tell you, when the police say stop and drop, you stop and drop. Without any lift. Amen? Amen. All right. Whatever the, so, so, so it, it, you know, and a lot of times in the natural, we think that if something happens, the resultant of that, the cause of that thing that happened is some failing some weakness on our part. Now, now Sam and me, they're going to get married today, and so I'm going to do a little marriage counseling in the process of my discourse. A lot of times when, uh, when, when people are together for a little while and trouble begin to break out, the one that, one of them, one of them you know, and, and, and especially if, if, God forbid, you are never going to get divorced. You are going to stay married until death does do part, which is about 175 years. But anyway, all right. You all going to have a long and fruitful and happy, happy marriage. Amen. We're going to bless you with that. But sometimes, there are some folks who have gotten a divorce. And, and a lot of times, the ladies have wondered, what did I do to bring about this? And the worst thing is that a lot of times the men will say, what did I do to bring about this? One of the hardest things is the children will become and say, what did I do to cause mom and dad to split? The children have it probably harder than anybody. And, 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 and sometimes it's hard for the children to get back from that. Uh, sometimes in the course of life, there are some young boys and young girls who are molested. And, and that's suffering. And they said, what did I do to cause this? And they carry that weight, that burden, all the way through life, becoming introverted and began to say, it's something about my, it's something about my intrinsic being that is wrong. When we have to realize, church don't ever paint God out of the picture. Come on now. And if I can say it like this, don't ever paint yourself into the picture. It's God. Uh, it's something about the mosaic yes. where G-O-D is the, I'm talking about capital for G-O-D, rules today. And here the Apostle Peter says to the church, you are going to face some difficult times. You are going to face some very hard times. You're going to face some times where you're going to begin to question yourself. Don't do it. You've got to have the right mindset in when you do face difficult times. And he says because they are going to happen. Yes.